This is the Thought Leaders Podcast. I know this is probably a very hard question uh, as, you are an art, as you are an artist, but if you don't mind, take me through that creative process of you find a picture and then how it becomes an idea in your head into something out there in the real world. So for me, it's mainly like something that will just catch my eye. It could be, you know, on Pinterest or on Instagram, on Google, on, you know, someone's profile that I see. And the second that I see the image, I usually know when it's the kind of image that I would draw on. It's not every single image I feel inspired to draw on. Um, But sometimes I see something, I already see the art that's going to happen on there. Um, So I'll find an image or... Other times I'll have an idea and I'll look for the image that's right for that idea or photograph it myself. And, you know, it's very similar to drawing on a canvas where I'll sketch it out first, plan out the composition, and then, you know, go on board with all of the layers with the color, the lighting, the shading, the edits, the cleanup. So it's very much similar to painting on a canvas. What age did you start uh, drawing and getting into art? I started drawing at a very young age. I, I mean, I can't recall, like, I was five when I held a pencil, but I think it was just when I started to play with crayons. So I think as soon as any other kid who was holding crayons. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, and did you do any training? Um, did you go to art school? Um, I didn't go to art school. To me, it's one of my biggest regrets is not going to art school. But I did, um, you know, in high school, I was always in advanced placement art programs and I was winning awards for my art and um, when I went to college I took some night classes and I always stayed very close to what my passion is but I never got a degree in art which is um, I guess also good because now I'm very eager to keep learning and maybe I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now if it wasn't for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. I like that take. I find that very interesting. So you you're drawing all your life right um and can i say was that on traditional in traditional methods canvas oil painting things like that um what's the question uh so you initially when you started drawing you were and painting and and um everything with us to do with art you were doing it in the traditional methods correct yeah i didn't start painting digitally until 2013. okay so that's what i really am really interested in can you take me through that transition from I'm going to paint on a canvas to, oh, wow, here's this iPad. Now I'm going to paint digitally. Hmm. Um, Yeah. So I guess that like art was always a passion of mine. I was always painting on canvases. I, you know, had an easel at home, an entire like corner for art. And I think it was when I was 23 years old, um, I guess my friend was actually working at Viber and she was showing me these like sticker sets that they buy from artists and I wasn't familiar yet with what digital art was but I just knew that I loved what she was showing me and then Mm -hmm. she kind of explained to me oh yeah you have to buy a Wacom to do this kind of art and um, I got really obsessed with it because I love like the vibrancy and just the way digital art looked in comparison to what I was doing at the time and I ended up like finding this guy in Tel Aviv who's a digital artist who is uh, one of my first mentors and someone who I consider a legend. And he gave me some private classes of how to draw on a Wacom. And I remember being so overwhelmed with learning Photoshop and all of the different layers and you know functionalities and the hand-eye coordination because this is before, I don't know if Wacom had a tablet with a screen in 2013, but all I remember is that this tablet didn't have a screen and it was years till I saw a tablet with a screen, but um, you would draw on a tablet with no screen. So kind of like on a paper and then it would show up on the computer in front of you. So you would have to get very used to this like weird coordination that you would have to have with your hands and eyes. And I just remember it being very hard for me to figure out the program and how to do this, but I loved it so much and I just kept going and kept going and taking, I started to take like night classes as well to learn digital illustration and, um, you know, after many years, now I have a career in digital art, which is pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this part of the interview and for the full interview, remember to click the link below.